Hello everyone, well, Scott Sullivan welcome to you live from the North Shore of Oahu. It is November 30th, 2014. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, it's 70 degrees outside of here. Why not, let's do some sales training. So, one of the things that happens in the sales process is when somebody's struggling, they create their own sales sabotage. And what they do is instead of having a process where they start right here, and they go through everything and they build up the process and they get to here, and then they ask for the business, which is the right way to do the job, they go in, and they don't do a performance, they don't do any of their information, and they go in and they rely on personality alone. A personality sell will close about 25 to 30% of sales calls almost in any industry, okay? And the trouble with that is there's not there's a bunch of money left on the table. So that person who's doing that is doing it the wrong way. The personality-driven sale creates a lot of challenges. Now, a lot of times what ends up happening is that person starts talking about what they would do in the given situation of the buyer. And that's not really the right thing for them. The right thing for the buyer is the thing that's gonna help them the most, instead of interjecting, well, if I were you, this is what I would do. And the personality-driven sale creates a lot more sales sabotage than not giving a full presentation. It becomes buddy selling. Well, you know what? You like this football team, I like this football team. You like this type of car, I like this type of car. You got a wife, I got a wife, right? And it absolutely sucks for a salesperson to go through that process because it's painful and it's painful for the buyer. And the buyer just like when it gets done, they typically don't feel good about what they bought. And a lot of times it leads to a, a canceled appointment, a canceled sale, a return or a complaint. So the personality driven sale without going and going through a whole entire process and doing a job is really wrong for a salesperson to do. It creates more sales sabotage and it creates a lot more challenges than just trying to sell something and not doing the job. It's pure laziness. Now, I think back of a couple of salespeople, this is how they sold and this is what they thought sales was. Well, I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna become this person's friend. Well, when you hit friend zone, you get none. When you hit friend zone, you get none. And it creates a lot of challenges because then that person walks away and then they're like, well, how come I didn't get that sale? That guy really liked me. Or, you know, the hope and pray sale? That guy really likes me. He's gonna call me back. He really is. He swore he was. He was gonna, I'm gonna hope and pray that he calls me. It doesn't happen. And you know what? There needs to be a little bit of tension in the sales call to make the sale happen. But most people who sell on personality alone don't have that process. And so one of the things that they see is maybe they ride with a salesperson and it seems like the salesperson who's performing and that person who's elevated and is doing their job is selling like in personality and not using some sort of a script or not using a process. So this person over here goes and does that and they absolutely lose out. So a personality driven sell is going to hurt the sales process. It creates sales sabotage. Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question or story, that'd be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there's a subscribe button. Subscribe. And then send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Scott Sullivan Bell, only Scott Bell with Sullivan Old Season. Thanks for watching. Aloha.